Welcome to the world premiere of the integration. Tonight we are celebrating original music by Will Marsh. This evening you're going to hear debut performances from Will's first solo album, The Integration. You're going to hear an array of different instruments, cello, saxophone, tabla, sitar, guitar, bass, world percussion. There'll be instruments that you won't recognize and you've never heard of. Will has been devoted to the pursuit of musical excellence for over 20 years, and he doesn't look old enough. <laughs> the integration is the expression of his rich musical journey. With influences that range from Frank Zappa, hey. Ali Akbar Khan, Maurice Ravel, and John Coltrane, Will wrote the next part to tell you what this album means to him as an artist. There was never an intention to say, hey, let's mix together what I learned as a Western musician on guitar and Hindustani musician on sitar. Rather, this music just came out. This is a part of who Will is. So, Will says, I invite you to join me on this path of integration. Okay, quick housekeeping. Please take your cell phones and put them on no cell phone. <laughs> you can put it on silent mode, you can put it on air player, plane mode. If you truly are um, a renegade, you could turn your cell phone off. Imagine not getting a text for the next hour. Which is about how long this music is going to take. The performance will be about an hour. There's seven um, uh, different cuts. It'll be followed by drinks and snacks and, um, and merch. Yes, spicy merch. So sit back, enjoy the music, and welcome Will Marsh and friends. such a warm, full house, but to get to play with these amazing musicians um, is really a joy, and to bring this music to life um, and share it with you all. So we're going to start with the first piece, The Integration, and I don't want to talk too much right now. I want to play. Um, we've been doing so much to prepare for this event, and the music is uh, a real joy for me, so I'll share more about different parts of the songs and how they came to be as we go on through the evening. But Right now, I just want to jump in and launch our first piece, the integration. So thank you so much for being here, and enjoy the show.
introduce Josh Mellinger on percussion tonight. Misha Kalakulov on cello and bass. And then coming out to join me on this tune, we have Yoon Lee on saxophone. had kind of like a samba feel and I had this idea of hearing the sitar as a lead voice in a kind of samba jazz context and it, it just really dawned on me that I'd never heard that before and as I continued to write the tune and, and write the melody I really was hearing saxophone and sitar interacting in this way and um, it's just been really fun to bring this to life and the, the name comes from when I first moved up here to Marin County, um, it was in March of 2020, my wife Maya and I moved up here. And you know the springs here, like the hills are that lush green, and um, it, was, <laughs> it was promising March 1st of 2020, but things quickly became a little less promising. Um, but nonetheless, that's the story of the tune, is just kind of arriving here in, in springtime, and um, the bay really feels like home now, which is a great blessing, so. Uh, Fields of Promise, enjoy this tune. <laughs>
piece will be a guitar frame drum duo. And this piece is really about my love for the nylon string guitar. Uh, I grew up playing classical guitar. You can always tell a classical guitarist they have these long nails, and we are always kind of obsessed about filing our nails right, and it's a whole thing. <laughs> but I just love the expression of this instrument, and so this piece is really um, about that, wanting to show that on the album. And you know, for those of you those who don't know, Josh and I have been playing music together a very long time, so. Getting to do this as a duo, there's just a lot of freedom to explore and, and play together with Josh since we've been on this um, long journey together musically. So I'm very excited to present Remembrance for Guitar and Fame. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
launching into a two-part piece that is called the Weekly Blues. And the fun part of this piece was, you know, you can kind of find blues in every music. And even in traditional Indian music, you have a raga, one of our traditional melodies, that is very bluesy. Um, the blues is there. And so <laughs> the idea with this piece is, is uh, bringing together this traditional Indian raga as well as a seven beat cycle. And that's why it's called the weekly blues. There's seven days in a week, and you know, everybody's got a little blues every day. So that's the idea of the tune. And we'll start it off with a bit of a, a lock, which is kind of bringing out the mood of the melody and the rag. And then we'll launch into a full band piece um, for this tune. So, and uh, yeah, I'll welcome. Um, Mark on the next on the next part of it, so we excited. This will be our, our full band piece.
don't have more songs with the whole band, but that could be the next project, right? Um, it's such a pleasure to play with these awesome musicians. Wow. Um, so now we're going to head back to another duo piece with uh, Josh on a unique instrument called tone back, which is a beautiful Persian drum, very expressive, and we'll move to the next slide. This piece, Hygieia, you may wonder who this is and what Hygieia means, and Hygieia is one of the Greek gods, goddesses, and so there was a time that I was living in North San Diego County, that's where my lovely wife Maya and I first met. And we lived in a neighborhood where all the streets were named after a Greek god or goddess, so we were living on Hygieia. <laughs> and it, um, just that time living near the ocean, there was always this kind of freshness in the air. We were like less than two miles from the ocean, and um, this piece came out of that time, and you'll hear that freshness. And on the studio album, there's the sound of ocean waves crashing and birds in the background too, so you can listen for that in the studio recording. Um, and this piece is, for those of you who study or, or play Indian music, this is, um, there's a rag called Rag Yaman that's very present in this um, piece. So uh, I'm really excited to present Hygieia. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
like, I can't actually believe we're already at the last tune. Did I miss something? <laughs> um, yeah, this is an important part of my musical journey has been just the study of traditional music on sitar. And so it wouldn't be complete without showing that. And um, yeah, I, I felt to save that one for last. Um, and yeah, we'll play a, a rag called Rag Jinjoti that is a beautiful rag. It's very sweet and devotional. And there are so many moods with different ragas. And when I was creating this album, the mood that I wanted to convey was really something with that joy and devotion. Um, and so I think that's something that we can always use uh, more of. So Rag Jinjoti will be my, my offering of that. And we will uh, play in the traditional format, so we'll start off with some alap, where I'm just bringing out the mood of the rag, and then we'll play in a 16-beat cycle called tintal, in a medium tempo, and then we'll go all the way to a very fast tempo to finish uh, our rag jinjo tea presentation. So it's just been uh, it's been a dream playing tonight, and uh, enjoy this last piece, jinjo tea. <coughs> Thank you. 
you so much. This has been such a special night for me to share this music. And I want to welcome all the musicians back. Misha, Yoon, Greg. Obviously, I need a couple weeks to uh, clean up the studio recording, but you can pre-order it and I'll ship it out to you. Um, so that's a cool little feature to get both. And again, it's just it's been awesome to have you all here, and thank you so much. Um, I want to say a special thanks to our, our helpers, Aaron on the projector there. <laughs> and all the people that made this happen, Studio 4th Street, um, the volunteers with me for helping with merch, Ben at the door, and of course my biggest fan, um, this is Maya Marsh. Yeah. And um, for making us sound great tonight, we have Jason Jones. Down um, here her working the magic is Fred Alb. He's an amazing photographer and videographer. Thanks so much, Fred. That's it. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 